Hello there heroes, my name is Cowman and welcome back to part 9 of our Fable Anniversary playthrough. Again we'll be continuing on with the main story, let's get to it. You bear the mask of Jack of Blades. The prophets had foreseen the coming of such a legend among heroes. The rise of the summoners in the northern wastes marks the arrival of a new threat to all things living. We have long dreaded this portent. Behind my walls lies the Fireheart. There, you will speak to the prophets who watch over it. You may enter now, but beware the beating of the heart. It has burned many before you. Dad, can you come with me? Please. Okay, you're ignoring me now. Me are the prophets of the Fireheart. It was your destiny to seek us out, hero. The beast arises in the frozen north. Only he who claims the heart can stop it. Its mystical powers will guide you across the sea. There you must face a force of such evil. Not even death can silence its fury. Oh, for crying out loud, just tell him to get us out of here. Yes, yes, we were coming to that. To obtain the Fireheart, you must solve the mystery of day and night. And we'll finally be free. Witness the board before you. Each time you turn all the moons into suns, you'll release one of us from our perpetual prison. But fill the board with moons and one of us will perish. And the Fireheart will never be yours. What? I thought you said he'd get it even if he gets us all killed. I heard you. To quiet you, imbecile! Look, it's very simple. Solve the damn puzzle. You get the heart, we get out of this hole. Everyone's happy, all right? Thank you, hero. Use the fire heart wisely. What's happening? The night is so beautiful. M Mother, I'm coming. Yes, freedom at last in your face, eternal confinement. Fireheart? Excellent. I knew you'd be able to do it. I bet those prophets were a barrel of laughs too. You always get to do the fun stuff. Well, I've been looking into these summoner creatures and I'm starting to think throwing away the Sword of Eons wasn't the best idea after all. These things are bad. Too late to do anything now though. Hmm, perhaps not. Well, it's only an old legend, but... For centuries, there have been tales of a powerful weapon hidden in the guild and imbued with the essence of all the heroes buried there. But the only one who's shown any real interest in it lately is Maze. He was obsessed with finding it. We know why now, of course. Perhaps you can find whatever he discovered in his old quarters. But don't forget, it is vital that you place the Fireheart in the Hook Coast Lighthouse. Its power will summon the ship to take you to the northern wastes. 
Good luck once more, hero. This sword sounds enticing. Let's go get it. We see that you are pure of heart and have sacrificed ultimate power for the good of our land. We judge you worthy, hero. May Argo's tears burn through the forces of evil in your hands. Have a look at this bad boy. Oh, hero! I've been expecting you. As you can see, the town's been evacuated, just like the guildmaster asked. Must be something serious, eh? Well, it wasn't easy getting everyone out on such short notice. But us guards know our duty. Oh, I could tell you some stories I could. But uh, you probably don't want to hear them right now. I'll just leave it to you, sir. Good day. For a man that can teleport, I don't know why I'm taking the stairs. Like, seriously, mate. Is the fire heart in place? Good. Meet me downstairs. According to the books, the ship should arrive as soon as the heart's energy reaches full power. What the hell? A summoner. It's trying to destroy the heart. We have to... We have to protect it. More summoners. The heart needs more time to power up. Come on! Let's use the fancy new sword. Oh, damn, I'm getting messed up. Oh, no. This guy's strong. Oh, no. get to the northern wastes your guild seal will activate the local teleporters and I'll be able to join you side would have done it long ago but he destroyed his seal before he arrived didn't want maze to know what he was up to I guess well have a nice trip maybe when I see you next we can have a snowball fight the strange silent ship set sail into the featureless swell day after day it carved its path among the waves an ocean phantom moving ever forward. Then the moment came when icy peaks speared out of the horizon mist. These were the shores of the Lost Bay. The northern wastes lay beyond them. Snowspire in the far north. I will explain everything, and then we must consult the town's ancient oracle. I pray we can awaken it, and that it holds the answers we seek. The man in you the pink dress. The new quest card. Oh my goodness. Hey, the teleporters are up and running. Nice work. I'm going to have a look around after speaking to Sai. Catch you later. I can give her permission to start interrupting me too. Now that's three people. I was gonna say, the man in the pink dress has not failed yet. It seems you've mastered the use of the combat. Thanks as always, Dad. You're kidding me. 
There's a goddamn color skate and I had to take a ship here. You see my beard? This isn't funny. Dad set me up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a talk to this bloke. There you are. So how was the cruise? Me? I'm more of a teleporter girl. Good thing your seal set the local ones off. I've managed to get a good look around and this pile of stones might be worth investigating. See all those inscriptions? I'm heading back to the guild to work on the translations. You should carry on to Snowspire and speak with Scythe. He's waiting for you. Catch you later! What a scumbag. Made me take the ship and then just took the cosy little teleportation device here. Summoners have reached Hook Coast. Then there is less time than I thought, and I have much to tell you. I arrived here many years ago, when the Guild believed Jack of Blades would use the Snowspire Oracle in his search for the sword. Now it is we who are in need of its wisdom. To speak with it, we will need the Glyphs of Inquiry. They were hidden in the Age of Archon by four acolytes who buried them deep in the haunted necropolis. I will send word to the necropolis guards to grant you passage. Jeez, you're the man with the connections, huh? Was that a cat? It was either a cat or a bird, I don't know. Scythe told us to let you in. Well, I guess you better show him through. Yeah, nice try, Mungo. It's your turn, and you know it. Ah, oh, nuts. All right, then. Follow me. Right, that's as far as I'm going. This place ain't safe, you know. The old town's full of ghosts. Folks say the poor beggars don't even realise they're dead. Anyway, take care looking for them, um... Glyphs, they're called, right? You're not the first one that's come rummaging for pieces of carved stone, you know. The others found more than they bargained for, though. Rotting corpses, a lot of them now. Anyway, have a nice day. Hang on, guys, I'm shoveling. Pause. <laughs> That was a lot of work for a few pieces of stone. You have uncovered the glyphs. Very good. It is time we awoke the Oracle from its deathly slumber. O oh, great Oracle, grant us the knowledge we seek. What evil rises in this land? Prophecy is fulfilled. The guildsman is here. You follow the footsteps of the one who bore the mask you carry. Jack of Blades has awakened the dormant power of the summoners. He has used the blood of your family to feed his new shell beyond the bronze gate. But now his soul mask is in. Must use it to feed the Archon's shrine 
and open the gate. Go now and face your destiny. So Jack has cheated death once more. Never have we encountered a being like him. I do not envy you. The Bronze Gate has long been a symbol of doom in this land. Return to Briar Rose at the Shrine. Perhaps she can tell you how to use Jack's soul mask. I must return to the guild. May fate smile. So for anyone that hasn't played the game, those four glyphs we just got are Y-M-C-A It's fun to stay at the Y-M-C-A <laughs> Oh my god Hey, glad you're still with us. These inscriptions are fascinating, you know. Everything indicates that Jack's new form will emerge from behind the Bronze Gate and this structure is the key to opening it. But it looks like it'll take the souls of three heroes to activate the mechanism. These things are never simple, are they? It doesn't want just any heroes either. The first instruction calls for the King of the Arena, no less. I suppose you could chop your own head off, but then there'd be no one for me to order around, would there? Why don't you pay Thunder a visit? He knows the arena inside and out. I've checked with the guild, and they say he's a not whole glade. You've still got Jack's mask, haven't you? Good. You'll need it to trap the souls. I still can't believe he might not be dead. Anyway, I better start researching the second inscription. Yes, little hero, I'm back. And our business is not quite finished. You destroyed my sword, remember? Have you any idea how many centuries I spent looking for it? But its work is done. Soon I will have power beyond your imagining, and you will be the first to die. I think we're going to end this episode here. Thanks for watching, heroes, and I'll see you in the next episode.